Hi, Gloria. Uh, where are you from in the Philippines? I am from uh, Occidental Mindoro. And how long are you living in Hong Kong? I live here 40 years, Bishop. All right. When you came to the church, um, you had a problem with the health of your son. Tell us more about the health complication. Uh, my son, Lord, uh, his name is Lawrence, Lawrence Yao, and he is now is 30 years old. He has this kind of uh, sickness that from his birth, the asthma. And, uh, you know, as a mother, I'm concerned about his health because he is in a bad uh, situation. He has this uh, high blood pressure, uh, allergies, infection of his guts. And sometimes he say, he's told me he got depression. That's the main concern I have, depression. And then uh, more recently, uh, he was diagnosed with a more serious illness. Please explain more about that. Uh, he has this kind of a secret he didn't tell us anything about his life going on outside. But then uh, he told us that he has this kind of uh, a thyroid cancer. He got, he's seeing the doctor for since March, April, May, June, July until September. September he told us because it's a positive uh, cancer in his thyroid. So we are shocked, Bishop. <laughs> and I said, the only thing I, when I heard that news, and I said, my God, help me this. So uh, I pray, and uh, my, my, my husband said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm praying. I said, your God won't gonna help you. And I said, only him I could uh, ask for help. And then he said, uh, I'm dying. I'm not afraid of dying. He said, don't worry, Mama. Uh, we are all going there. He said, I'm not afraid. I know that you are afraid, but in my faith that my God is the healer. So I use my faith and I anoint. I use the oil that I get it from, the, from our church, UCKG and anoint him every night, including that handkerchief. That handkerchief I put under his pillow every night, Misha. Once I, he, I found that he's sleeping, I anoint <laughs> his head and I pray that God help me. And then after that, the doctor told us that no more follow-up, no more medication of his thyroid, he's free. So, um, did you participate in any purpose of faith? Oh, yes. Did you participate in any campaign of faith? Yes, yes, Bishop. Uh, we have this kind of uh, campaign of Israel, and I put it there, my faith, and I said, Lord, I don't have nothing, but this is the all I have. So, the God will know. Today, how's your son? Can he work? Does he need to go to the hospital? Give us an idea about his condition today, he his health. Is, he is now health pastor. The asthma, as I said, that he was been born of his asthma. Sometimes he has this kind of uh, uh, protection, you know, the daily for the environment that he take that inhalation. But actually, his uh, he used to inhale so much, like you couldn't even hear hear the way he breathed once that he inhaled the uh, inhalator, he can, you can hear the next door, next bedroom. But now, he still, I still am hearing this kind of thing. But once that he had inhaled the, uh, what do you call this, the outside, you know, the tear gas. So he, he need to take that again. But his thyroid is totally gone, yes. The allergy, once only he inhaled that uh, tear gas nowadays, it's a pollution, is so bad, then he will use that inhalator. But totally pass over. Bishop, the depression, the guts, 
it's all free of Gisha, and especially the cancer. Totally healed, totally healed. no more cancer, no more, Gisha. no more problem in the guts. No more. Totally cured from yes, asthma. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for sharing your testimony. Now, apart from the healing of your son, what is the biggest blessing in your life? Uh, God is number one. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your testimony. God bless you God abundantly. Bless you. Thank you. Universal Church of the Kingdom of God, helping you to make a new beginning.